Before you watch this video, watch the videos that talk about chairs, keyboards, and mice so you know what options are available. To achieve a good computer workstation fit, you have to adjust the chair, keyboard, and monitor. The chair should place your hips at around 110 degrees with your back leaning against the backrest and your knees bent around 90 degrees. The keyboard should be positioned so your elbows bend around 90 degrees with your shoulders relaxed when the keyboard is directly under your hands. Your monitor should be high enough for your eyes to gravitate to the center of the screen. Your chair has to be the correct height for your keyboard and your keyboard has to be the correct height for your chair. Which of these you change in your workstation depends upon the adjustability of each of these items. You will have to adjust whatever is most movable to whatever is least movable. If both are adjustable, it's best to adjust your chair. Position it so your back is against the backrest, your hips are around 110 degrees, your knees are bent at 90 degrees, and your feet are on the floor. Then, lower your adjustable keyboard tray enough to relax your shoulders and position your elbows around 90 degrees. If your keyboard height is fixed or you can't get it low enough to match your chair, you must adjust your chair height to match its height. Most keyboards are placed on top of desks designed for writing, not keyboarding. A writing surface is about 2 to 3 inches higher than a keyboarding surface. In order to achieve the perfect relationship between your chair and a fixed keyboard, Raise it until your hands and shoulders are in the perfect position to the keyboard. Then, use a footrest to support your feet if the chair is too high. Once you have the keyboard and chair positioned at the right height, adjust your monitor so the top is at eye level. You may think we look straight at a monitor, but our eyes actually drop down about 15 degrees. If the top is at eye level, it allows the eyes to drop to see the center. If you're having trouble getting your monitor to the right height by raising the screen, Try placing it on something sturdy, like a pile of books or the computer CPU. If you make a fist and reach your arm out, your knuckles should touch the monitor. If you're nearsighted or farsighted and find yourself leaning forward or backward to reach your screen, it's a good indication that you need to shift the monitor position closer or farther than this. Make sure the monitor is directly in front of you so you don't get neck pain from turning your head when you type. If you use two monitors, you want the primary monitor directly in front of you and the secondary monitor slightly angled to one side. If you use both monitors equally, put each monitor slightly off-center and slightly angled so your head only turns a little. If you are a tall person, you will have to raise your chair to accommodate your longer legs. With a higher chair, you can put your keyboard on the desk surface. However, this may mean that if you position your armrests at the correct height, you can't get your chair close to the desk. If this happens, move the keyboard and monitor back. Lower the armrests and rest your forearms on the desk surface in front of the keyboard. Take stress off your neck, shoulders, and forearms by adjusting your armrest to support your arms as you type and use your mouse. Make sure your shoulders can relax and your elbows are bent at 90 degrees. Unfortunately, many chairs have fixed armrests. They can be too far apart and may not provide support. If you don't have good armrests, you can buy arm supports that clamp onto the computer desk. There are times when the seat pan length can be too long for people to sit against the backrest, especially if they're smaller. It's rare to have an adjustable backrest that slides forward, so it's best to use a backrest insert or an add-on lumbar roll. These push your hips forward, effectively shortening the seat pan. They also provide back support. Most chairs have a built-in lumbar support designed to fit the natural inward curve of your back. This may be too high or too low for you. If your chair doesn't have an adjustable lumbar support, you can use a towel behind your back or buy a lumbar roll that can be strapped to the chair. If you have back pain, you may want to add lumbar support even if your seat pan is a good length. Mouse use is often a key cause of arm and shoulder discomfort. A major reason why people have discomfort is because they position their mouse at arm's length on the desk, so their arm is up and to the side. The mouse should be right next to the keyboard on the keyboard tray, or as close as possible to the desk. If you can't get the mouse next to the keyboard on the tray, 
It may be a good idea to put the keyboard on the desktop close to the mouse and raise your chair to their level. The armrest acts as a pivot point to use your mouse. If you don't have armrests that adjust to the proper height, try mouse supports for your elbow and forearm. If you're still uncomfortable even after you've positioned your mouse close to you, consider another type of device such as a trackball or using the opposite hand. Avoid storing things under your desk so you have space to move your legs and increase circulation. Take the time to develop a good computer workstation fit. It's quick to do and will reduce discomfort at work, prevent fatigue, and improve productivity.